This is one of a multiple videos discussing the GNS3 REST API. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create new projects, how to create nodes, how to link the nodes, and essentially create an entire GNS3 network programmatically. So we've successfully created a GNS3 topology. The next step is to start up the devices. So back in the documentation, we need to do a post to the project and node, and then we need to use the start option. So currently both nodes are turned off. I'll open up a new tab, copy the post, This is where we created the first node. So I'll copy that. And say forward slash start and click send. So the first node has now turned on. Create another tab. It's a post to the second VPCS device. and we're gonna say start. And there you go, both nodes have started up. Now in the documentation, we're told that we can connect to the console of the devices. So notice VPCS1 is using console 5000. VPCS2 is using console 5002. The console host has this IP address. So I'm gonna telnet to that IP address on port 5000. And notice I'm on VPCS1. Question mark shows me the options on VPCS1. Here's another terminal window on my Mac. And I now need to go to that IP address port 5002 to get to the second device. So. 172.16.130.128.5002. And notice I'm now on the second VPCS device. So on this side, IP address 10.1.1. Put a mask on. On this side, IP address 10.1.1.2. Ping host one. Ping succeeds on host one, ping host two. So I've been able to programmatically create a project, add nodes or devices to my GNS3 topology and connect to those devices all without using the graphical user interface. I was doing everything through the REST API and then I telneted to the devices without using the graphical user interface. I'm only using the GUI here to show you the results of what is happening programmatically. Everything has been done through the REST API. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.